today I'm going to be reviewing, unboxing, and building this classic Nintendo Lego retro TV with Nintendo Entertainment System. And there's certain functions that work when it's all built, which I'll, I'll show you when that's done. It's for 18 plus, so you have to be 18 years or older to build this. I'm sure um, a smart young child can figure it out. It has 71,300 and nope. That's the, that's the, that's the model number. 2,646 pieces. And on the back, you have another picture of the retro Lego TV with Nintendo Entertainment System. And it tells you all the different functions that it does, like the little Mario that moves around and the back of the TV, which I'll show once I've built it. And then the different size dimensions of all the things in uh, once they're built and then it shows you that that's a little crank that lets Mario uh, run around when you're playing on this Lego TV. So Let's open it. Here we go What the heck All right so we'll get to that box in a second. There's a bunch of numbered bags, which I'm sure is for ease of building. Wire, which is definitely for the controller to make it look authentic. All right, let's see what's in this little thing. Oh, wow. All right. Oh, we got the heavy. Oh my God. Let's get this thing open. This is a intense instruction booklet oh, what's this oh little stickers all right two booklets i'm assuming one is french there's no language oh this one's for the console the controller and the cartridge and then this instruction book's just for the tv so and this one feels heavier than this one so i think the tv is more involved than all three of the other pieces i guess that makes sense all right, I guess there's nothing for it than to start building it. And here we have it, the final product. We got the TV here, we got the NES controller, the NES itself, all made out of Lego. And inside of here, we have, yep, the little NES cartridge of uh, Super Mario Bros. This is definitely the coolest part, how it just kind of goes back in here, push it down, and then just like the old console. Oh wait, no, I forgot something. There we go, puts it in. And then over here, we got the TV with the little crank on the side. If you crank it, Will I get copyrighted for this? Anyway, there you go. The cool little thing. It's on like a, a track. That was actually, that was probably the most tedious thing to build because every little square bit of this, oh yeah, by the way, the stand doesn't completely attach. It comes off. Every little bit of it, there's no autofocus, so it's gonna be more focus over here, um, is you have to put the little squares in one bit at a time and you kind of have to turn them a bit. So that's tedious. The whole thing itself, though, was a lot of fun. The NES console here, which I think I like even better than the TV, but they're both pretty awesome looking. This console here I did first, and this with the controller and the game inside. It took me about four hours and 20 minutes to build. The TV was a bit more complicated uh, with all the little pieces, especially on the screen, uh, the rotating part that has all the little bits. Uh, this took me about five and a half hours. So altogether, you're looking at about 10 hours. Oh, and here on the back and side of the NES, you have like the other little component ports here for the, oh yeah, it's even labeled audio and video. And then you got the back port, which did NES have stereo? And on this controller, you got the little D-pad. None of these buttons actually press down or do anything, but it looks super cool. and super accurate and feels great in the hand on the little cable comes out too so you can detach it put it back in a part there. there you go for you kids out there that grew up with flat screen tvs and never saw an nes console on a classic tv before this is what they looked like and the consoles back then were about 
the same size, if not bigger, than the TVs. Oh yeah, here's the back of the TV. It's got the little component cables and everything, and then there's a little latch right here. You put the little antenna if you want to put it away. But yeah, this is a sweet little set that I'm definitely gonna have as part of my uh, set going forward. You'll see it in the background for sure. If this kit intrigues you, if you're interested in getting it and building it for yourself, then links will be in the description down below. But yeah, really glad I got the chance to put this all together. And until next time, keep on questing.